What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about uh, ketosis and oh, the ketogenic diet and why I'm off it at this point. Okay, so um, for those of you guys who don't know, I started working now, it's been maybe uh, two a month and a half, two months. Sorry, I had something on my lip. Food, chia seed or something like that. Okay, so I started training a whole bunch of people and it's fun, I really enjoy it. And I noticed that a lot of them, well, they were asking me on, how do you say, it, on, on nutritional you know, diet, right? On how to eat and, and stuff like that, meal plans and blah, 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 blah. So uh, I said, okay, I'm gonna have to look into this because I have like some knowledge, but I'm not a nutritionist or dietitian or anything like that. So what I did is that I, I started reading up a little bit more. Um, this book that I read, it's written by Dr. Joel Furman. Okay, it's called The End of Dieting. And he, he talks a lot about uh, a nutritarian diet. So essentially what that is is that he pushes a high density food uh, over um, you know, your macros, which is your proteins, your carbs, and your, your fats. Right? So he said it's more important to look at the nutrient density of your food. So that means um, it's not just about the quantity of your calories in and calories out. It's really about the, the, the quality, right? Quality over quantity. So what does that mean? It means that, okay, you want to consume the less foods that have the less calories possible, but have the most nutrients in them, right? So you want a lot of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. Phytochemical means like uh, chemicals from plants, right? So you could already tell that this is like highly plant-based diet. Now he's not saying no to, actually he is, yeah, yeah. So he's saying it's, it's, it's a vegan diet, uh, essentially, right? And then he goes on to explain, but you know, the, um, how do you say it? The, the paradigm is, is slightly different. It's not just being vegan because, you know, you don't want to kill anything and, and none of that, you know? It, it has more to do, it's more sci science-based, right? Like he references all this stuff. I'll put a link down below for the, uh, the, the book and you guys can check it out yourself if you're interested. But I think he's onto something. Now, I'm not gonna quit meat, like so, but I definitely am gonna eat and I've been starting to eat a lot more of the things that he talks about, okay? Uh, which is, you know, highly plant-based. So one acronym that he gives in his book is called the G bombs, right? It's for you to remember G bombs. So G is for greens, B is for uh, no, yeah, gr G is for greens, B is for beans, O is for onions, M is for mushrooms. Uh, then the other B is for berries, and the S is for seeds. You know, seeds and nuts and and stuff like that. So those are the things that you should eat a lot of every day. And essentially, you replace your beans, uh, I mean your carbs, and your proteins by beans, right? But the thing is, like, I eat, I, I eat a lot of that stuff, but at the same time, I'll still eat, I'll still have eggs, uh, fish, a little bit of meat, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep it under, under control. So I'm not going to eat as much of it. I try not to anyway, uh, you know, so with meat, you could, like, eat it maybe, I don't know, once, twice a, a week, you know, and... Might as well, if you're gonna eat um, some, some meat only once or twice a week, you can make it high quality, right? You could go get yourself a nice, I don't know, $50 steak or something like that and uh, chow down on that thing, right? So, where was I going with this? Ah, right, in the book. Okay, so I was on, I was on a keto, keto, uh, ketogenic diet before I looked into this and you know, I was consuming uh, my, purport I was a lot of fats, a uh, little bit of protein and a uh, little bit of uh, carbs that came from vegetables, right? So the thing I learned according to this book, and I'm sure this is very, uh, I wouldn't say controversial, but you know, there's a lot of research and a lot of things that are pointing to ketosis, uh, leaning more towards um, fueling yourself with fat instead of with carbs. But here's the thing, if you get your carbs from a, clean, a cleaner and more natural source, which would be beans, right? Or veggies and stuff like that, and you have more nutrients in it, then you'll be okay. Uh, but if you follow the ketogenic diet, you're essentially trying to fuel your body just with fats. Now, one of the things he said in this book is that if you fuel yourself with, uh, 
with fats, right, your body is in ketosis. Now, your body is in ketosis when it's kind of like a last resort kind of thing, you know? So what he's saying is that there's research that shows that what happens is it raises acidity in your body. So if you're, if you're running on ketosis, ketones, right, then it raises the acidity in your body and acid, having a uh, acidity in your body is not good. So what your body does is that it compensates by running through all your, your, your stored minerals in your body and your calcium. Right, so right there, that, that, that kind of scared me. So I'm like, okay, well, uh, this guy is like world-renowned, highly respected, you know? Like uh, you watch videos on him on YouTube and stuff like that. And, you know, he's debating dudes, you know, at these big conferences and stuff like that. And, and uh, he's also, I think he was in the Olympics, man, as a figure skater or something like that. You know, he's into performance, he's into longevity. And, you know, he's, he's a clinical um, MD, right? Medical doctor, you know, helped a lot of people. Uh, and stuff like that. I'm not saying it's the absolute truth, but I mean, I think he's onto something here. And the whole ketosis thing, I like, I'm, mm, you know, like when you think about it, like the brain, everybody tells you, you know, like, like your body has to run on carbs, right? Your brain runs on, on glucose or, or glycogen, or I forgot, anyways, on sugar, essentially. And, and your muscles too, you need it to, for, for high performance, so to speak, right? But you don't have to get it from, uh, from processed carbs. You can get it from from plant based, right? Instead of just like cutting completely off the carbs and then making it run on fats, because then you have to consume a lot of fats. But, you know, I guess in the future, with the more research we do and over time, we're gonna see what's the best thing. But for now, I think that, you know, eating, a, you can't die if you eat too many veggies and greens and, and, and you know, all, like G bombs, you know? And, but if you eat too much fat, what if they're wrong? And what if, what if Joel Furman is right about the acidity thing and how it burns through your minerals, your stored minerals and your bones and your calcium in your bones? I mean, fuck, that's going to be a, a miserable, miserable way to, to, to die to find out later on in life, right? So, listen, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, I'm not following the ketogenic diet anymore at this point. I'm just trying to eat a fuck ton of veggies, right? And... Um, I've gotten really ripped, so I'll show you guys in another video or maybe while I'm cooking or some shit like that, but uh, without my shirt on and at this point I'm like at 10% body fat and yeah, it's pretty, uh, well it definitely works like you, well because you can't really get fat if you eat a lot of veggies, right? Uh, so that's it for this one guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that, so leave your comments down below. I'll, let me know what you think. Are you guys, um, are you have arguments for uh, the ketogenic diet? Are you guys more vegan based or are you guys whatever, you know, um, let's talk about it. It's always interesting to see what you guys are up to and, and what kind of results you're getting, how your energy levels and stuff like that. So for me personally, that's what I'm doing. I'm following more the uh, Joel Furman's guidelines in terms of how to eat at this point, right? Um, as I learn more, I'll keep you guys updated on what I'm, uh, what I'm discovering and stuff like that. But definitely, I'm much more ripped. Uh, I don't want to take off my shirt right now. <laughs> this, but actually, uh, can't really see it now. But, well, it's not much, but anyways, you guys can tell here that, you know, there's, I, had, I got like practically no fat left on my body. Anyways, uh, if I was standing up and flexing, it would be a little bit better. Uh, but I'll show you guys in another video. Maybe I'll make one soon of how I eat and shit. Uh, you know how I cook and I'm very basic guys like I, I can't cook usually my wife if my wife's not cooking for me I keep it pretty 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 basic you know I just uh, heat up stuff boil it add some spices maybe a pinch of salt you know just for flavor or some soya sauce and that's it okay so that's it for this one guys um, thank you very much for listening I'll see you guys in the next one peace